rolling back of Obama-era guidelines over how authorities should go after marijuana-related crimes. In a memo released today, U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions said federal prosecutors should decide on their own whether to devote resources to marijuana cases. It is not immediately clear how this decision could affect sales of the drug. Nine in your sides, Jenny Martinez has reaction from a Tucson dispensary. It's against what public policy has been and it's against what the Arizona voters have said that they want. Nearly 180,000 people have a medical marijuana card in Arizona. Those cardholders ranging from kids to seniors. One of them, Catalina Bailey, who was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. After years of feeling ill, going to the hospital and taking prescription pills, she chose the medical marijuana route. I was able to get a medical marijuana card in the state of Arizona and because of this one medication that I now have available to me, I've been able to stop a narcotic pain medication and I am concerned about this, but I am also dedicated as a patient to continue advocating for this. Brian Ward, CEO of the Prime Leaf Dispensary, says the rollback of the cold memo is alarming, but not detrimental. We want everything to be safe and above board, which is exactly what the Cole memo outlined in the beginning. Those were the, the rules and regulations, and it's the same regulations that we follow with the Arizona Department of Health. Ward says that the cannabis industry is changing, and so is the conversation surrounding it. The impact is in the initial uh, legislation and the Cole memo protected uh, dispensaries in some degree, as long as we were following state law, that they would not roll uh, federal prosecution focus towards dispensaries as long as we were compliant and within the state legislation. Jennifer Martinez, Kega 9, on your side.